YouTube, my name is Kirby. Today, I'm going to make a really, really short episode, so everything's going to be speed up really, really fast. As for the ingredient that we have today, it's going to be quite simple. We have... This is called Argentina Squid. Well then, let's create a dish. Alright, introduction time. This is an Argentina squid. It is not like the typical China squid or Vietnam squid that everyone has been getting all around. As a matter of fact, most of all the squids that actually the Malaysian market uses is most probably this typical sotong kata, squid ring, squid tail, all mostly is from China and Vietnam. But actually in reality, do you know that this Argentina squid is one of the most caught sea squids in the world? You see, this thing actually has a really really short lifespan and one time it breeds, it breeds once and then it dies and then God knows how many thousands of eggs it actually released. When this baby is most probably around like a couple of millimeters long and when it's an adult, it becomes approximately 30 centimeters long. That is amazing actually. You can see that this thing is actually a really commercially and sustainable seafood. Well, like the name implies, this thing is actually called Argentina squid. The origins of this is most probably from Argentina, Brazil or South America. Well then, now let's take a closer look on this thing. The squid looks really really nice. This squid you have to take out the eyes. And I think they oh man, it's kind of dirty here. For all the squid, there has to be two long arms. The, the long arms is most probably one here. And the other one is for here. This is the tentacles that they use to actually take food and eat food like that. So some people actually think this thing is actually dirty, but I don't think that's true at all. Because if you say this is dirty, then this is all probably dirty as well. The mouth is over here. We're gonna have to remove that later. And I'm not sure why the eye seems to be off. Maybe the fisherman already took it off for us. But the eyes is not something that we are going to eat. The skin, everything, it looks like it's in a nice color. So I already made up my mind, I'm going to make a barbecue squid out of it. And I'll be accompanying it with three different sauces. So first one is going to be a balachan sauce. Second one is going to be a spicy miso sauce. And third one is going to be made out of caviar and cream. So the first thing that we're going to have to do right now is we're going to have to clean the squid. Okay, now let's see, I'm going to start with this squid. The first squid that I see here, it's going to be a very easy job. Go here. Push his mouth out just like that. Pop. Done. This is the beak. You don't want to eat that. Oh shit, 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 shit. It's very sharp. You're probably not going to eat this part, but you actually don't want to put this in your mouth as well. If the eyes is actually around, you're going to have to pop it out. So, right here. Oh, great, great, great. I think this is the eye. Yeah, this is the eye. Except most probably the freezer actually bursts his eyes or something like that. One eye off. The other eye is, has to be here. There. Pluck it off just like that. Okay, this is the eyeball. I mean, a fresh squid definitely doesn't have his eyeball like this, but oh well, I paid for what I get. It's actually really cheap though. Actually, the truth is, this squid, I bought it for like 16 ringgit per kilo. That is considered a really, really cheap price for a squid. Because squid tube, a clean squid, everything, usually costs about 14 ringgit, 15 ringgit. And that was just the body or the tube only or the legs only or the rings. And this one is actually a whole squid. So now that I've actually cleaned all of this part, I'm going to start by cutting some holes here. Okay, it's kind of dirty in the inside. I'm going to have to wash it later before I barbecue it. So this part here, you can actually see, maybe it's the liver or something like that. So I heard this is actually edible, so I'm really going to try it later. So anyways, alright, done. So I'm going to repeat this same step for all the other squid and all that's left after that is just to pop it on the barbecue. That's all. Cleaning of the squid is all done. So I'll just wash it later and then it will be ready for the barbecue. I'm going to start by making my blachan sauce. It's going to be a very very simple sauce. All you have to do is just pound everything into a piece. That's all. Habanero pepper, one piece, deseeded. Red chili, one piece, deseeded. Shallot, about four piece. Cafe lime leaf. Lime juice.
sugar and the most important ingredient among all belacan roasted huh? all that's left to do is pound So now that it's pretty much mashed up right now, I'm gonna add this special ingredient. It's called a chinchalok, made out of shrimp called garagao, sugar and salt. The first sauce, the blachan sauce, is done. Alright, I'm gonna start making my next sauce. One red chili, deseeded, garlic peel, dried chili soaked in hot water, deseeded. Dried shrimps soaked in hot water. Hot oil. A little bit water. Fish sauce. Soy sauce. Miso paste. Coriander leaves In with the coriander leaves Spicy miso sauce Done Next, we are going to make our cheese sauce A small amount of butter A small amount of milk Cream cheese Lemon zest And a dash of lumpfish caviar Alright, all sauces are done. Now it's time to grill just the squid. The smell is really good now actually. And to think that I just put oil and that's all. No salt, no pepper, nothing. It should be able to turn right now. Oh, that's color, nice color, nice color, nice color. But you can actually see that this squid has actually shrink quite a lot. Well, nice smell, but it's really boring. Oh well, just wait. Okay, I think the squid should be done by now. Let's see what it looks like at the bottom. Okay, nice. Time to put this here. I'm gonna put another squid here. Alright, so this is a comparison between a cooked squid and a raw squid. You can see that the size has changed drastically. But oh well, what kind of seafood actually doesn't change in the size when it's cooked? So, I'm going to skip the rest of the part. So I'm going to say, cooking done. Done. The smell of the squid is actually covering the room right now actually. So the first thing I really want to try is this part. What is this? The, I think it's called the liver or something like that. Okay. I really wonder what it's gonna taste like. Come on, take it up. Oh well, oh well, never mind, never mind. I'll just dip the legs with some of this. Well, consider it the sauce. Let's see what it tastes like. quite a lot maybe it tastes better give this a shot I wonder small cook tastes better I think this is a little bit undercooked but it's okay not that bad now for the main thing I want to try the sauce I'm gonna put some sauce let's try the sambal the blachan sauce oh there's a lot of blachan sauce on the menu here Blachan sauce is quite nice. I'm gonna try more blachan sauce, another one, a little bit more cooked than normal. Let's see what it's like. I think the squid has to be cooked until like this much. I prefer the texture of this one. It's not like it's gummy or anything. This one is more gummy, I guess, because maybe I undercooked it. But it's still edible. Alright, time for the miso sauce. Miso spicy miso sauce coming up. 
<laughs> this I need so <laughs> Not bad actually, but I don't think I fancy the flavor. This sauce tastes better than the miso sauce. I think I put too much miso that the miso is actually covering everything. I can still feel the spiciness, the prawns, the garlic, everything also, but I think that my synchronization, my experience with miso is not that good. So I don't really like this sauce. Alright, next, let's give this a shot. The thick cream sauce. Here I go. I can barely taste the caviar. I don't really like this sauce. This is the worst sauce I can say. It's not like this sauce is bad actually, it's just that it's like taking ice cream and putting it on curry. I think I used the wrong kind of cheese. Maybe I should change the cheese type. Or maybe I should put some herbs in it. But over you ask me, this one, the blachan sauce, definitely tastes the best among all. Really it's good. So thick. The chinchalok flavor, it really gives a boost on the flavor of this sauce. There's pretty much no wow factor in this squid actually. I tasted it by itself, I tasted it with sauces, everything. I mean, just tastes like squid. Uh, but still, however, I think it's better than squid cube or squid rings because the China squid is literally tasteless, really. But this one, at least it has some taste, but I wouldn't fancy it at all. I've tasted better squids like in Korea, where I ate live squid. If I get a chance to go to Japan to try out one dish called the dancing squid, maybe I would have really enjoyed it. Well then, I'm gonna end my review now while I finish this meal. <laughs> Alright, I'm done with my meal. Okay, today I had Argentina squid for dinner and I feel like, well, there's actually no wow factor in this product but it's, well, generally it's worth the experience. I had other kind of squid which is actually the China squid and all those are kind of normal squid. They are literally tasteless, they just have texture only, that's all. But this one, at least it has a flavor but I just don't really enjoy it. Well, maybe that's the exact reason on why not much Malaysians actually use this squid for their barbecues or maybe, I don't know, any of your dish and maybe that's why a lot of Malaysians actually use the squid from Taiwan or maybe Vietnam or something like that, I don't know. But, well, at least for the sauces that I made, it covers everything. Well then, that's my overall conclusion of the squid. I mean, it's cheap, yes. There is really, really no wow factor in this. Maybe it's already stored too long in the freezer or something like that because Generally a squid, when you cook it, it becomes really really brown But this one, it didn't become brown, maybe it's not fresh So, I mean it's really hard to jump into conclusion Because this squid is actually caught on the other side of the planet Well, that's all I can say for the squid I hope to see you in the next video Bye bye